Hey everybody, Carla here and we're here. One day to go. Today is our Super Saturday juice prep day and I wanna make sure that everybody is ready to start bright and early in the morning for their first, first juice. But before you start, there are a couple things that you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you have. Today is your day to make sure that you've got all your pieces together so that tomorrow is successful and you can just go ahead and whoosh right into some juice. The first thing that I want you to do that a lot of people miss, this is a very, very important step, you're going to want to track your progress for your juice fast, whether you're doing juices or smoothies, you're going to want to see how much weight am I losing, am I losing inches, and so, dun, 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 the scale. Now, I'm telling you right now, this puppy is not necessarily your friend. It's one of those long lost acquaintances that you should keep kinda in the back of your mind occasionally, but do not, do not get attached to this puppy while you're juicing. Don't do it. You know where I keep mine? Under the bed. Way deep under the bed. I push it under the bed and I have to actually get on my hands and knees just to get that puppy out because I am not trying to weigh myself every day. When you juice, you will lose weight. You will. But everybody's body is different. Everybody's weight fluctuates at different times. And you know, with being men versus being women, it's, oh Lord. Men have it so easy sometimes because they lose weight like that. I mean, it's just crazy how much they lose weight and how quickly they do. Uh, but for women, you know, with our time of the month and our this and our that, Stuff doesn't always go the way that we plan it. So I want you to weigh yourself at the beginning, however. So if you choose to juice for three days, five days, 10 days, or go the whole kitten caboodle and do 60, you're gonna wanna make sure, how much weight have I lost? How much weight am I losing on a regular basis? So I want you to weigh yourself at the beginning. More importantly than weighing yourself, I want you to take your measurements. Take your measurements around your neck, around your chest, your waist, your tummy, each thigh, around your knees, around your hips. Take your waist, uh, take your measurements around your body so that you could see at the end how much you've changed. My last juice fast, I lost a total of 16.25 inches from my body. Let me repeat that for the cheap seats. 16.25 inches. That is huge. I lost a whole two inches off my waist. It was insane. I was like, what? Yes, I was very happy with those results. But you want to know what the results are. My very first juice fast, I, I juiced for 40 days and I was like, no, I'm not going to look at the scale. I'm not going to do that. Please. Persistence is rewarded. So make sure that you reward yourself by understanding exactly how well you're doing through this process. So today or tomorrow morning before you drink a thing, even water, make sure that you have taken your measurements. Second thing, water and lots of it. Do I need to repeat this again? No, water and lots of it. This is something that you're gonna wanna make sure you've got plenty of water on hand while you're doing your juicing, okay? Water, it's not a, it's not a, a could have, maybe, kinda should have. It's an absolute must. You gotta make sure you've got your water. Third, equipment. Do you have all your equipment ready? Do you have your juicer or your blender? Do you have nut milk bags? Do you have strainers? Do you have your mason jars? Now, again, this is a wonderful mason jar. It's currently filled with my Pops Punch juice, which is so delicious. Let me take a sip, hold on. Oh my God, that is like yummy. Make sure you get your mason jars, your containers that are going to hold your juice and that you've got enough containers to juice for the day. There is nothing worse than actually getting through the middle of the day and then realizing that you don't have any more juice. So you've got to juice something up, you know, and you may not juice in time for you to get through the hunger pangs. No, 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 no. Juice in the morning, 
and that way you know it's done and you don't have to juice during the day it does take a while and the prep and the cleanup and the cutting up of the vegetables and stuff so my suggestion to you you can do it however you want to but my suggestion to you is to definitely uh, juice in the beginning of the day or the night before seal it up in an airtight jar and then you've got juice at the ready uh, you're also going to want to make sure that you've got your buddy and your champion lined up. Uh, on the actual Facebook event page, I had put up a post asking people if they wanted juicing buddies. And a lot of people were like, yes, of course I do. Well, that's a great place to start. If you don't have somebody in your life who's going to be your support partner during this juice fast, then reach out to the people who've already said, yes, I want a juicing buddy and say, hey, I'll be your buddy. It doesn't have to be a face-to-face -face thing. It can be a Facebook chat touch base that you do once or twice a day. It can be an email thing. It can be a phone thing. However it is that you're going to make it through. That accountability partner is going to really help you go so much further because they're right there saying, I know, I know, I know you want the pizza, but you can really do this. And the last thing that I want to say is you would be surprised, surprised, I know I am every single day at how much this is going to work for you shocked even. Let me tell you a story about one of the dearest people to me in my life. My ex-boyfriend uh, that I we dated when we were in college. My ex-boyfriend a couple months ago, a couple months ago, reached out to me and said, hey, I've been watching your videos and I'm thinking about juicing. And I was like, what? What? Shock. And let me tell you why. This is a big dude. Always has been a big dude. Big football player, works out two, three times a day, kind of, I mean, big, bulky, born carnivore. He could devour a chicken in seconds, a whole chicken. And a lot of the time that we were together, it was, it was food and lots of food. So... He's gained a little weight and he said, well, hey, I've been watching, I've been seeing, I've been noticing the changes and I think that this might work for me. So I said, okay, well, if this is something that you want to do, great. He was the first person to actually test out my recipes in my ebook. I'm just, I'm so grateful to him for doing that. And he went and got a huge, like a big, huge basket full of produce. You should see the picture of this thing that he sent me. I'm just going to have him post it on the Facebook page. Huge basket. Of, and he's been juicing. Not only has he been juicing, he's been juicing successfully. He's, he, well, I spoke to him last night. He said, I'm surprised at how hungry I wasn't. And this is an eater. This is a, let me have four to six chicken legs at dinner with the collard greens, with the mashed potatoes, throw some hot sauce on there, and if you don't give me some dessert, I'm gonna be angry. He had juice and was satisfied and happy. The first two days, he was really surprised at how much he didn't want to eat. The third day, this is just kind of his test juice, uh, this is his chest juice run. The third day, he decided he was gonna have a salad for lunch and made this decision that, you know, he went and had made this salad and had raspberry vinaigrette and didn't have the chicken on it or the cheese. He had all vegetables and made this. I, I am, I'm so surprised that he's done this and he's feeling satiated and he's feeling happy with it and is noticing the change in his body. In two days, he lost four pounds. It's just tremendous. And I'm telling you right now, if he can do this, a born carnivore, huge football player. He's a cop. He's like, you know, it, it, if he can do this, you can do this. I'm telling you that you can do this. Really. <laughs> I'm just surprised, really surprised. Uh, the people who've reached out to me and said, hey, I'm thinking about making this change. So it's just awesome. The steps that people are taking for their health. So all that said, you are ready for tomorrow. I know you are. You've got everything that you need and what you don't have, you will get along the way. Just go ahead and get some produce. I've got this shopping list that I put up on the 60 day Facebook page, uh, the, six, uh, the challenge page, and I'll put the link right here so that you can uh, 
check on my blog and look at the shopping list, the suggested shopping list. Check that out. Go get some groceries. Go get your blender. In the morning, have some water, have some juice, and just go for it because you're ready. You are. We're all ready. I'm so excited. So I hope everybody has a wonderful, wonderful New Year's Eve, and I will see you bright and early tomorrow with some juice. Have a great day.